It is a cold, cold, cold morning here. This morning here in Yorkton, Saskatchewan. We just left our uh, customer. Now we're going to go over to the uh, DOT scale. We're going to scale this load and see if we can make our legal for the United States. Yeah. And it is February 29th. The last day of this month. That's right. And if you want to know how cold it is, well, I can only tell you in Celsius. And in Celsius, it was minus 27 the temperature and uh, minus 34 with the windshield. Yes, it is a cold one out here this morning. I'm telling you that much. Oh, yeah. But we managed to stay warm. I never had my truck idling overnight. I just made sure I filled her up last night and uh, I put some additives into it and uh, here we are. Just had my APU unit running overnight and then uh, just with my bunk heater I was able to stay warm. Never woke up one time throughout the night. So that was fantastic, but yeah, now we got to make sure that we scale this load and uh, once we do all of that, then we are good to go, right? I don't know what that truck beside me is trying to do there, it's a little local truck up there, he's trying to be there in the right and I don't know for what reason he wants to be in the right lane there because this is just a single lane up here. Yeah, it's still a little bit difficult to uh, switch gears yet because the transmission is cold. Look at I don't get it. You gotta be that much in a hurry. You couldn't wait two seconds just to drive behind me. You know? Because this is just a single lane up here, you know? But, that's the way some drivers are. But you got no patience, man. Especially these local guys, you know? But anyways, we got it on camera. So go ahead and complain about me complaining about truck drivers. I don't care. It's the reality, man. If you're gonna do something like that on front of my camera, well, you're just gonna be the lucky one that gets on video. I don't care. Go ahead and tell me that I'm making the industry look bad. I wasn't doing it. It was that guy that did it. I was just the one that videotaped it. And showed it to you guys. Shared it with you guys. But that's okay. The other day I showed something about where some truck driver was doing something stupid and uh, somebody was mentioning on there, I'm getting sick and tired of you being so negative and making the industry look bad and this and that. Well, hey, it's not really me making them look bad. I'm just the one showing it to you guys. It's themselves making it look bad. It wasn't me making, it wasn't me making that mistake or doing the stupid things, you know? So go ahead, scream at me if you want. I don't care. I'm gonna show whatever I want, and that's it. And whatever I can. But anyways, enough of that rat. But it is a sunny day, and it doesn't feel like it's much windy out here anymore like it was last night. It got up to like 60 kilometers an hour, which is about 37, 38 miles an hour wind up here last night. So uh, just the last half an hour worth of driving, it started getting a little slick. But we made her, we made her. Here we are, right? So we made it. 
I already called the uh, shop up again. I'm gonna I booked my truck into the shop, and uh, hopefully this time they will be able to fix my ABS sensor. And this is gonna be the third time that I'm gonna be in there for the ABS sensor. You know, come on, light change. There's nobody else coming the other way. I don't know why it's got to stay that long red. And there's really nobody else. There's nobody in the turning lane either. Oh well. I guess I'm a little grumpy this morning. <laughs> I don't know why. <clears throat> we all have days like that, I suppose. Oh, it looked like somebody uh, lost a crowbar. But anyways, let's see what else we'll be able to show you today. So stick around. Hopefully we will get out of grumpiness, I suppose. And then uh, we'll still have a good day. Thank you for joining us though. Hey ladies and gentlemen, look at this guys. We got a railway, a, ra a train collided with a tractor. Wow. Yeah, that tractor is not looking good. I don't wonder where that trailer is. Oh, that's there on the other side. Wow, that was one of them grain haulers that had a had an accident here with the train. He come across the train uh, track there, or maybe he was stuck. I don't know. But uh, yeah, he collided with the train, or the train collided with the uh, grain hauler up here. So that's not looking too good, guys. But uh, figured I would show you that a little bit. We'll be right back. I am definitely in Manitoba now. Matter of fact, we've been going for a good while already. I just haven't videotaped anything. My uh, cousin, he had gone over to uh, Paraguay for a visit. He just got back, so uh, he called me. So we were on the phone for a good long while. But I did show you that little accident up there earlier there with the, with the train up there. Yeah, I hope everybody is okay in there. That was a bit sad to see, but it does happen every once in a while, you know? It really does. But yeah, we're only about uh, 46 kilometers away from Highway 1. And uh, in total, we're only 218 kilometers from home. That's right. You got this four-wheeler here trying to pass me here. I don't know why. I guess he thought he could make it, and I guess he will, but... Oh well. Anyways, uh... Yeah, we are, uh... Gonna be home here before you know it. Roads are a little bit wet because they've been putting some gravel and salt and all that stuff down, so... You know how it goes in winter time, you know, sprays all over. And because they've been putting some gravel on there, I hit a... Well, I was meeting another truck was going the other direction because it's two lane highway up here. A rock hit my windshield up there. Now I got a spot up there, so it, that's not very good, but oh well. Luckily the Volvo Gloss is not very uh, expensive. That's my bonus on it. But anyways, we are uh, just giving her today. We're trying very hard anyways. I want to get home as soon as I possibly can. I got a lot of paperwork to do because this has been a super long trip. I got more than 10,000 kilometers on this trip. So yeah, that's a lot of miles. 6,400 plus miles by the time I get home. And that's only on this one trip. Remember, I did take a reset at home, but my trip didn't end because of that. My trip still was continuing. I only did a reset at home, so that way I had hours to go. But other than that, we've been uh, working really hard here the last week and a half. Matter of fact, I think we left on a Monday, and then we did that Iowa trip. Went to Toronto, to Toronto. And then from Toronto, uh, we went uh, home, did our reset, 
Then we went all the way to British Columbia and back home. So that is a long way, I guarantee you that. But it's been uh, a much needed miles too. I really did need those miles. So now that should give me a good paycheck. It really should. Just keeping an eye on this big truck up here. He was trying to pass me, but uh, I guess he figured he wouldn't get up enough speed to uh, to pass me, so he's back to down. But yeah, this passing lane is going to be ending here very soon, so. So yeah, I guess he ain't gonna pass me here now. I guess he's gonna have to wait till I win one. But I would have slowed down if he uh, gotten up a little bit more, but then he decided to slow down. So, oh well, that's okay. But uh, yeah, at least it's nice and sunshine today, and it's not super windy. I think there's a little bit of wind out there, but not bad, you know. But all in around, it's been a good day so far. So let's get on down the road. And let's make it a fantastic day today. Alrighty guys and gals, here we are in Steinbach, Manitoba. That's a lovely town to see again. Since I've been missing it for a good while. Yeah, I needed to go home. Yep, that's right. I certainly needed to go home. Turn right on. Low that was low a given. And then approaching Beautiful sunshine, the but cold. Meters. Yeah, we are just about to get to the yard. Yep. And now we'll drop this trailer and we'll go home sweet home. Yeah. This guy wants to let me go over. Nice of him to do that. I waved him to go over, but he said, oh, no, you can go. So I said, all right, all right, guess we'll go. That's right. Approaching destination in 100 meters on the right side. Yeah. Well, guys, it looks like we are the lucky one today again. Look at the dirty, dirty truck. Yeah, we uh, have dropped our trailer now and uh, went home and uh, dropped everything at home off. I mean, look at all this, look at all this dirt up here. Man, there is a lot of, a lot of gravel on here. Look at that. Wow. So we're going to wash that all off. Uh, so let's get in the wash bay before it cools off too much. Well, 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 guys and gals. I am sitting here at home in the sofa. Just relaxing. Yeah, it's the next day in the morning already. I was gonna show you guys uh, when I washed the truck after the word afterwards, but uh, I took the sh uh, truck to the shop right away to uh, get my ABS, hopefully fixed this time, and a couple other things, and get it inspected, get a DOT inspection done on it, so that way uh, I can hand that uh, into Penners because they want a uh, inspection done every six months so which I have no problem with I just wanted to get it done at my shop over there because they got license to do safeties as well so uh, and they said they're okay with that as long as it gets inspected and uh, we bring in the paperwork so I'm getting them to do that right now and uh, hey look at that it's a beautiful sunshine out there this morning and uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed we got ourselves a little bit of a haircut yeah we like to look somewhat professional <laughs> yeah my cousin she does uh, you know hair salon and stuff so anyways uh, we're gonna close this video for today I hope you enjoyed it and we'll be back tomorrow at 2 a.m. Central Standard Time. Remember, guys, we are seven days behind. Give me a big thumbs up. Share the video. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button right there in the corner. Would love to have you on board. So with that being said, hey, Jack. <laughs> have a good one.
get going It's time to move on Put this behind me That day is gonna 